Hi everybody, in this tutorial we will see how to implement navigation drawer with uh, fragments. First let's see an example. So when we slide our drawer we have a list view with two fragments, fragment 1 and fragment 2. And when we click on list item a fragment is shown on our main layout. Okay, first make sure you have this library dependency because we can't do anything without it. Okay. First let's go to the main activity layout and insert a custom view and that is a drawer layout. Okay, now we need to make this drawer layout a root view for all other views so just place it on top and wrap every other content within it so our relative layout is actually inside of the drawer layout so make sure that its width and height is set to match parent and also give it a appropriate ID name because we will need it. Next we can just insert the basic text view inside the relative layout to make things look more interesting. Now what is really important for our list view is that it needs to be outside and under the relative layout. Also make sure it has a fixed width, so let's say for example 250 dpi and for the layout height just type match parent then we need the layout gravity for the gravity choose left you need to choose left or start otherwise it won't work let's name it, let's give it a name, so id list view also give a name for the relative layout because we are going to need it a little bit later. So here everything looks alright now. Next make sure that your main activity extends app compact activity because we are working with a support library. Then we need to reference our views so list view, we need the adapter for it and we need the array for our list so we will name it fragment array and then initialize it with two fragments now let's reference them in our onCreate method so standard referencing let's see our arguments for the list adapter so we need the context we can choose the keyword this then we need the layout for the list view and we will choose the default android layout and we need uh, an array list we will type our fragment array and just apply our adapter to the list view now let's simulate what we have so far so we can see a drawer layout that has a list view inside of it and our two fragments but it doesn't really look appealing so let's just change a color for it just a second so android background choose a random color let's see again now it looks much better then uh, we need to set on item click listener for our list view after that we need to create a new fragment so we will type fragment fragment and create a new fragment class let's name it let's name it fragment one it needs to extend fragment because it is a fragment and implement a method called on create view this method is called when the fragment is created and as you can see it returns a view so we need to pass it a view that has a custom layout so let's create a new layout 
by going to layout and creating a new layout called fragment one let's just change the background color and let's put put some text on it let's type fragment one okay go back and type in return because we need to find our layout we'll use inflator so return inflator dot inflate then we need our fragment layout that is r dot layout dot fragment one and for the parent choose container and the third argument just type false now we will create one more fragment and everything is basically the same implement on create method create the new layout for it put the background color of course this is optional you don't have to do it put the text view on it okay and just reference this layout so return again the same inflator dot inflator dot layout dot fragment two container false now go back to main activity and create a new switch statement that will allow us to choose a desired fragment so let's just type switch position case number zero so in case zero we will we will reference our first fragment so fragment equals new fragment one and on a case one so when we click on fragment two we will create the fragment two so just fragment equals new fragment two okay next in order to switch between fragments we need the fragment manager so let's create one by typing fragment manager fragment manager equals get supported fragment manager and then fragment manager dot begin trans begins transaction dot replace now with this method we are replacing a view with the, our fragment and the view that we, we will replace is our relative layout so that's why we need the ID for it we will reference it right now so just r dot id dot relative layout next argument is our fragment so just type frag fragment then just type dot commit okay now I just forgot to type a default value on the switch statement just type their default fragment equals new let's type fragment one emulator everything is working when we click on fragment one fragment is shown but as you can see our drawer layout doesn't close when we click on list item and we will fix that by referencing drawer layout on the activity standard reference with find view by id and just type drawer layout dot close drawers inside of the list item listener now everything is working properly so yeah that's all thank you for watching see you next time goodbye